In this Chalk Talk, we're going to look at the HPE ProLiant Gen 11 servers with 4th generation Intel Xeon scalable processors. First, I want to point you to several recent HPE ProLiant Chalk Talks I've done. The overview looks at HPE ProLiant Compute engineered for your hybrid world, and the three guiding principles of an intuitive cloud operating environment, trusted security by design, and optimized performance for your workloads. If you click on the eye at the top right of the screen, it will open my playlist of these recent Chalk Talks, which, along with the overview, includes ILO 6, HPE, GreenLake Compute Ops Management, Trusted Supply Chain, and more. So check them out. This Chalk Talk is loaded with information on the screen, so have your hand ready on the pause button. I want to start with showing you the feature evolution with our Intel-based HPE ProLiant DL servers. I'm showing you some of the specs from Gen 10 and Gen 10 Plus, and the last column is the same specs for Gen 11, and you can see in bold what has changed. Let's look at the Intel-based HPE ProLiant Gen 11 rack servers in the portfolio, and this is as of March 2023. We start with the Edge Optimize DL320, ideal for software-defined compute and data management with a compact footprint and single socket density. Next is the Density Optimize DL360, for IT infrastructure, general purpose virtualization, and NVMe accelerated storage. Next, one of my favorites, DL380, a workhorse for multi-workloads that run enterprise businesses. High storage capacity and scalable for diverse workloads. And brand new to the portfolio is the GPU Optimized DL380A with extended GPU scalability with up to four double wide accelerators. HPE ProLiant Gen 11 can support a broad workload ecosystem. Private and hybrid cloud, containers, AI, ML, and data analytics, and VDI all from lots of ISV partners. So let's look at each of these rack servers, and again, have your finger on the pause button as I won't talk about everything you can see. I'll start with the HPE ProLiant DL320 Gen 11. It's a scalable and cost-optimized server for your virtualized and software-defined compute workloads. Of course, it's powered with the latest fourth-generation Intel Xeon scalable processors with up to 32 cores, up to two terabytes of DDR5 memory, 2x16 PCIe Gen 5 and 1 OCP 3.0 slots. And all of these servers have the new ILO 6 and our Silicon Root of Trust anchors the server firmware to an HPE exclusive ASIC. Next, the HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 11. It's a 1U rack optimized, scalable compute dense solution for high performance workloads like VDI, EDA, CAD and more. It supports up to 60 cores with the fourth generation Intel Xeon scalable processors and 2P compute capability, up to four terabytes of DDR5 memory per socket and up to three by 16 PCIe Gen 5 and two OCP slots, and ILO 6 and Silicon Root of Trust. Now the HPE ProLiant DL380 Gen 11 is a scalable server to power your data intense, large capacity workloads. It's a 2U, 2P solution with exceptional compute performance expandability and scalability with up to 60 cores up to four terabytes of DDR5 memory per socket, up to eight by 16 PCIe Gen 5 and two OPC 3.0 slots, and again, ILO 6 and Silicon Root of Trust. The last server is the new server to the portfolio to power next generation workloads, the HPE ProLiant DL380A Gen 11. The A stands for Accelerator Optimized for GPU intensive applications. It supports up to four double wide GPUs and a dense 2U 2P form factor. It has scalability up to 56 cores, up to 4x16 Gen 5 PCIe slots, two of them are for NVMe, and up to 2x16 OCP3 slots. Max of 1.5 terabyte DDR memory per socket, ILO 6 and Silicon Root of Trust. And I wanna make sure you know about an Intel-based tower server, the HPE ProLiant ML350 Gen 11. Ideal for SMB and remote offices. It's a robust and flexible tower for a wide range of workloads. It combines power and energy efficiency in a 2P tower form factor. Here's a closer look at its specs. Up to 60 cores, up to 8 terabytes of DDR5 memory, up to 10 PCIe Gen 5s and two OCP 3.0 slots, GPU support, ILO 6 and Silicon Root of Trust. Lastly, there's a new HPE Synergy 480 Gen 11 compute module. It's great for creating pools of flexible compute capacity with fourth gen Intel Xeon scalable processors and has exceptional performance in a two socket, half height form factor with up to 56 cores and up to four terabytes DDR memory per socket. 
And now with up to three PCIe 5 mezzanine slots, along with the HPE Synergy Virtual Connect 100 gigabyte network options, removes bottlenecks and increases data throughput. To learn more, go to hpe.com slash data slash hpe dash servers.